We are talking about weather here at 6 and it started out with a little morning rain and then it gradually got a lot better. Once I came into work, it seemed gorgeous outside. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's pretty amazing and it's still it amazing out there long. right now, but unfortunately it's going to be yeah. changing. So let's take a look at the radar right now. We do have a few showers off to the south around the Yankton area and those are going to be pushing off as we head through the evening, but it's going to be mild again on Sunday. So that is some good news, but we are looking at the possibility of some afternoon rain showers. They are going to be pretty light, but as we head into early next week, we are going to see some more chances of rain develop, and we could see some pretty heavy rain as we head through Wednesday afternoon. As far as our temperatures are concerned this evening, we're at 61 in Sioux Falls, 52 for Brookings, 45 in Aberdeen, 66 in Mitchell, and 68 currently in winter. It is definitely a gorgeous afternoon. And as far as the winds, it is a little breezy. We're out at the north, northeast at about uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, so it may feel a little bit chillier, but overall not too bad. Now, as we look at the satellite and radar, you can see that system as it pushed through earlier this morning, bringing those light rain showers to southeastern South Dakota on into Minnesota. That is all pushed off to the east, and we have really cleared out this evening, and it's going to stay pretty clear as we head through the evening hours and into the early portions of the night, and then we are going to see the clouds beginning to increase as we head towards Sunday morning, and then watch as we go towards Sunday afternoon. We'll see that rain chance develop and then push off to the east fairly quickly, and then we're going to kind of skip through Monday. Uh, it's just going to be kind of a cloudy, overcast day. And then watch here at 10 p.m. on Monday, some snow developing across western South Dakota. And then it's going to start to spread eastward. We're going to see the snow and some rain off to the southeastern. So the freezing line is going to be kind of cut in South Dakota in half. And we're going to see some pretty good rain across southeastern South Dakota. And there could be some pretty decent snowfall totals out west as well. And here's a look at your precipitation forecast. Over a quarter of an inch for Aberdeen. A half an inch or more possible for Watertown over to Mobridge and some pretty decent rainfall totals even further south, over an inch possible from Sioux Falls on southward, including Yankton and Valentine, Nebraska. So this is definitely going to be good news for our drought situation. As we look at our seven-day forecast, we're going to be at 60 on Sunday, so that's going to feel pretty nice and still pretty mild on Monday as well with a high of 58 degrees. And then things really do cool down as we head towards Tuesday through Thursday with temperatures in the 30s and 40s, but we'll be back into the 50s as we head towards next weekend. As we look at Aberdeen, 52 will be your high on Sunday, 44 on Monday, but pretty cool through the middle of the week until next weekend when we're back into the upper 40s. And for Pierre, 62 on Sunday, 53 on Monday, but look at those chilly temperatures in the 30s on Tuesday and Wednesday, but back to the 50s as we head towards Saturday. So. Just kind of have to get through this little system, but yeah, I don't really like gloomy days, yeah. but I know we need the rain. Yeah, so. definitely. All right, thanks, Aaron. Still ahead tonight at six. After 44 years in music education, hundreds gathered to say thank you and good luck to a local band director. But first, speaking of music, big voices and big competition filled one local high school today. Find out why. Next, you're watching KSFY News at six in.